And what's going on, Squid Fontaine, VIPSoundLab.com. And we're back on another member request tutorial video. We just had a member who just sent in a request. They were wanting to know how to loop samples using the detect mode. All right, so this is something that we did cover in the past, but let's get into it again because they are a new member. So let's go ahead and get into it and let's check it out. On the detect mode, as you can see right here, here is the entire sample. Right here, it's going to auto detect your beats per minute. So if you want to do it manually, you can do it that way also. But I would suggest using the auto because it just automatically knows that, okay, well, looking at this, this is a two bar loop and that's the beats per minute. Now, you, you do have the ability, you know, a lot of producers, a lot of times they will double time samples but you you know you have the ability here if you want to slow the speed down of the sample you have that option here or you can speed it up but being that you're just starting off i would say just go ahead and leave it here at the auto uh detection and i'll show you why we'll leave it at that in a minute all right so there you go here's your sensitivity knob you just basically you turn this up as you can see the more sensitive that i make it the more slice points that it's adding okay it's detecting the biggest node events to the smallest node events all right so if i did it like this you can see right here these are all the samples okay so if i was to press let's say well it says 77.4 so let's go ahead and do that and put a nice little starting point like that we'll we'll make sure our, our session tempo is going to match the original samples tempo now we're not time stretching or anything like that we're just going to go ahead and apply it for right now you have an option here to replace a pattern if there was a pattern there you know if you did something that you didn't like you can replace it or you can do it without a pattern so if i select it create a pattern select apply like so you see that it maps out the sample now that's or rather this screen here is what's called your piano roll okay so you have you know from i think it's like what is it c2 to uh i think it goes up to uh g8 up here yeah i think it's from c2 to g8 if i'm not mistaken okay so when you press play on the uh, machine software here okay it plays the sample that's mapped you also can speed it up you know or you can slow it down You know, another thing you could do is like when you have your samples mapped out, you also could move them around. Like if you want to get like a different melody out of the sounds that's already mapped out. Because as you can see right here, if I select this and roll my mouse through the piano roll. See, all the sounds are in there. So when you're on your machine hardware controller, you press uh, your keyboard mode, like your pad mode button first and press keyboard. You can access these sounds. All right, so let's say if you were. Now, of course, I'm just bugging out right here, but I'm just showing that you can move you can move these these notes around anywhere, uh, you know, in the in the piano roll and get different patterns. OK, that's one way. So that's just basically using the detect mode. Now, if that doesn't work out for you and you want to have it on, you know, not as many keys or pads, I would suggest using the grid mode. Now, that's something I know that, you know, you were requesting the detect mode. So, you know, you just learned how to loop using the detect mode. But again, if you want a less amount of sounds per pad, you can use what's called your grid mode. OK, so you can see right here, it's it's a less amount. So let's say, for example, if I tuck these samples, I use this little hold icon here. OK, and what happens is let's say I brought it over here to a brand new group. Again, I can put it on I can put it on this group, too, but I'm just going to use a new group just for, a, you know, a new example. I'll pop that in there like that. And as you can see right here, it's more quantized on the grid. So when I, again.
So as you can see, I had to play around with the beats per minute to get it, you know, more on time, being that that's based on the grid. So, yeah, fam, that's pretty much it. You know, without going, you know, into, you know, super long tutorial, that's basically how you can use the detect mode to go ahead and loop up your samples. So, again, we'll go ahead and we'll apply this pattern on there. As you can see right there, it maps it out on the piano roll. So you see right there, by using both groups, we kind of get that turntable effect. You ever like double up two records and it kind of... So if I mute this one here... And then we can bring this one back, we can mute this one. Okay, so two different ways you can loop your samples. Now, some samples are going to be tricky. So, you know, you, you're probably going to have to go in here and loop them first. You know, you can go over here to your ADSR mode. Okay, make sure that you have your loop icon on like this. And make sure that your sample is uh, looping first. You know, you got to have the ADSR mode on first. And you can make sure that you get your sample nice and looped up first and when you hold on your pad you'll make sure that everything over here is perfect so then that way when it's perfect in here it eliminates all the guesswork over here because it's basically the same thing like if i have the loop icon on over here it's also going to be looped over here okay so as you can see right here it's basically the same thing it's like a copy all right so that's pretty much it your boy fontaine vip soundlab.com again not a long tutorial not really going super super in depth again this is a member request video and we wanted to help out the member if you have any uh tutorial requests that you'd like to send to us for a tutorial or anything on machine just let us know and we'll be more than glad to assist you with that so that's pretty much it i will see you guys on the next one